Welcome back to Myths, Marvels, and Mystery. Today, we are looking at a topic, myth or fact. Does McDonald's cause cancer? Hmm. Start off with the warning. Certain foods and beverages sold or served here can expose you to chemicals, including acrylamide, in many fried or baked foods and mercury in fish, which are known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive harm. Here is a warning that we see posted at McDonald's. Warning, chemicals known to cause cancer or birth defects or other reproductive harm may be present in foods or beverages sold or served here. Cooked potatoes that have been browned, such as french fries, hash browns, and baked potatoes contain acrylamide, a chemical known to the state of California to cause cancer. Other foods sold here, such as hamburger buns, biscuits, and coffee also contain acrylamide but generally in lower concentrations than fried potatoes. Acrylamide is not added to our foods, but is created whenever potatoes and certain other foods are browned. The FDA has not advised people to stop eating baked potatoes, fried potatoes, or other foods which contain acrylamide. For more information, see www.fda.gov. So any of you that live in California, have you noticed any of these warning labels at McDonald's or any other places? Please let us know. What are these warnings? Well, California had Proposition 65, which became law in 1986 when California voters approved it by 63 to 37 margin. This proposition requires businesses to provide warnings to California residents about significant exposure to chemicals that cause cancer. An exposure to these chemicals may take place when products are acquired or used. This proposition was basically put into effect to warn Californians of the dangers of these chemicals that are in several different types of products. There are over 900 chemicals listed and every year they must be updated. I have put a few examples of some products that do contain this uh, warning label, but a lot of times these products won't have the label uh, displayed. So we buy a lot of things not even knowing what's really inside. Take a look at these. We have Home Depot for some tomato seedlings. Let's zoom in. Has that little warning there of P65 warning. We have White Castle that also has this warning. Then we have some granola bars from Trader Joe's. They actually put the warning outside of the display. Starbucks, look what we have here. They have to warn us because of the coffee that's grown in the soil which has chemicals so that's plastered everywhere in Starbucks so we can see these warnings on various types of products take a look at this gentleman who is very disgruntled about a warning label he got on an item he purchased so I've seen a whole lot of dumb things in my life but this prop 65 mess out of California is absolutely the dumbest I mean come on Explain this. My tables. Wood tables have a Prop 65 warning on the bottom of them. This, this product can expose you to chemicals including cadmium known in the state of California to cause cancer. Come on, really? Table? We even see them at the happiest place on earth, Disneyland. Can't get away from these warnings. A very popular brand, Kachava, is one of those uh, protein shake, a meal replacement, and they have chosen not to display it on the rear of their bags. Instead, they have it displayed on their website. That just talks about the warning of Prop 65. Although it is supposed to be on the actual product, and since it was not, they have faced a civil lawsuit. So let's take a look. Here we have Superior Court of the State of California in the County of Alameda, Environmental Research Center, a California nonprofit versus Tribal Nutrition, LLC, D 
DBA doing business as Kachava. On December 13th, it looks like uh, 2021, they filed this lawsuit. Let's take a look. Kachava, um, in this action, ERC alleges that the number of products manufactured, distributed, or sold by Tribal Nutrition contain lead, a chemical listed under Proposition 65 as a carcinogen and reproductive toxin, and expose consumers to this chemical at a level requiring a Proposition 65 warning. Reproductive toxin, does that mean that, I mean, does that affect people's ability to have children by consuming large amounts of these products. Anyway, these products refer to individually as covered or collectively as a cover product, Kachava Tribal Superfood, the whole body meal vanilla, and Kachava Tribal Superfood, the whole body meal chocolate. ERC notice a complaint alleged that the use of the cover products by California consumer exposes them to lead without first receiving clear and reasonable warnings from tribal nutrition, which is in violation of California health and safety code. The parties have entered into this consent judgment in order to settle compromise and resolve disputed claims and thus avoid prolonged costly litigation. Nothing in this consent judgment nor compliance with this consent judgment shall constitute or be construed as an admission by any of the parties or by any of their respective officers. So I will just go on to say here at the bottom, beginning on the effective date, tribal nutrition shall be permanently enjoined from manufacturing or for sale in the state of California, distributing into the state of California or directly selling in the state of California, any product that exposes a person to a daily lead exposure level of more than 0.5 micrograms of lead per day, unless it meets the warning required under 3.2. And basically all that they're asking for is option one, put the label on there. Option two, put the warning label on there. Not too much to ask. Well, they want one more thing. Let's take a look. If uh, they're doing that, they're still requesting a settlement payment and full satisfaction of all potential civil penalties, additional settlement payments, attorney fees and costs. Tribal Nutrition shall make a total payment of $295,000 to ERC within five business days of the effective date. And they've actually broken down how they want the funds dispersed. Wow. Well, you can rest assured there's going to be a lot of attorneys looking for other companies that don't have the warning labels so they can go after them as well. I mean, that's just like free money to them when they don't have warnings on the actual product. Anyway, I hope that this has informed all non-Californians that when you go to your McDonald's, Starbucks, or even your grocery store, you never know what's in them. But if you want to know, just look at the Prop 65 California website so you can see what chemicals are in the products that they're not displaying in your state. So the ingredients used in California restaurants and stores would have to carry through to other states as well. They cannot determine how much of these chemicals can cause cancer. So just to be safe, I will try to avoid consuming too much of these products. Is this a myth or a fact? It definitely remains a mystery. Until next time, you all have a great day.